Welcome to episode three of the Move My Dial series. If you missed the previous episodes, then you can find them in the link below. And in the last session, we explored how a functional activity-based organization structure causes a number of issues, including a fragmented understanding of your customer. In this session, we asked Paul Johnson, our customer leadership guru, a few questions about customer centricity. So I'm Paul Johnson, I'm an SNS customer lead. Um, and I've got 25 years experience in product management, primarily around digital innovation and transformation, and um, basically slice me open and I bleed customer. So customer centricity is looking at the business in a radically different way than traditional business has been done. Um, it's born from, from, the, from a simple principle, without customers you don't have a business. So why focus all your attention on business issues when you should be focusing all your intention on customer issues, identifying them, translating them into impactful strategies and, and creating customer value. Because if you focus on creating customer value, in what the result is business value. Who is the customer? I really don't like this question because I need to answer the question who is not the customer, particularly in organisations these days. Yeah. The customer is not the leadership team. The customer is not the operations team. And I often see in organisations that you must do what I say because I'm the customer. When in reality, you're both part of the same value chain. And that value chain ends with the end customer, whether it's a consumer in a B2Z environment or a client within a B2B environment. When you truly start feeling that you're, you're customer centric, there's a few things that businesses start recognising they start seeing that employee engagement goes up. So the teams that are looking to, to identify customer problems, translate them into an understanding of customer value, turning those into things that can be delivered, and pulling that, pulling that up to the, the leadership teams, there's a whole new energy, a whole new sense of motivation that's born from bottom up rather than top down. The first step is, is almost like a leap of faith. You need the commitment from the leadership teams to actually take that first step. And that first step is quite a big, big one. It's a big ask. It's asking the leadership team to provide a safe space, identify the talent, and every business has the talent on the ground, but a lot of businesses recruit talent just to tell them what to do. It's about taking that leap of faith to create the right safe environment, um, working in 90-day roadmap cycles, working on, on outcome-based customer value delivery um, and letting the teams see what they can do, even if they make mistakes and learn lessons from it. 